Aussie buyers love a prestige badge and we probably love a hot hatch even more. So when you combine the two together, that appeal is almost magnetic. Now Mercedes-Benz has introduced a new, even better value for money version of its A-Class hatch, the A35. And today, we're gonna take it for a spin. The A35 sits between the A250 Sport and the A45 in the Mercedes AMG lineup and is priced accordingly. Power comes from the same 2 litre unit found in both variants, the output a middle ground number that drives all four wheels through a 7 speed dual clutch transmission. Considering the A35 is the midpoint of the A-Class performance range, the acceleration and performance figures are pretty impressive as are the four piston disc brakes and adaptive AMG chassis. Well, when it comes to driver engagement, as you'd probably expect from the AMG badge, this thing really does have it dialed up to about nine, nine and a half. Of course, there's gonna be a little bit left in reserve for the A45. And look, if this car has anything to go by, that thing's gonna be an absolute weapon. I mean, the A35 is fast enough. It's an agile little car. That short wheelbase really helps you handle through the corners with absolute clarity. I mean, this thing is razor sharp and that exhaust noise. My word. Oh yeah. Additional chassis bracing, AMG wheels and Michelin rubber add to a package that we think has lifted Mercedes game in the segment considerably. It's a car that's now as enjoyable to drive as it is to live with the packaging more sensible, the look more clean cut, and the technology offering simply dazzling. A pair of 10 and a quarter inch displays dominate the dash, an AMG performance steering wheel, dual zone climate control, and Lugano leather upholstery rounding out the deal. Buyers can option a spoiler kit for even more of a track focus, but to our mind, that's a package better left to the harder charging A45. Well, at cruising speeds, the A35 is certainly a very gentle thing, though having said that, you really do need to keep an eye on the Speedo. This is one car that has a habit of creeping up over the 100 km an hour speed limit very, very easily. Now, on the downside, of course, those big run flat tyres and those gorgeous alloy wheels do generate just a little bit of noise into the cabin, and on course chip roads like this, it can get a little bit tiring. What never gets tiring though is just how enjoyable the A35 is to drive. In my opinion, it's a better road car than the harder A45 and has a ride handling compromise far better suited to back road touring. Yes, the A45 is bound to be a hit, but with competition like the BMW M135i and updated Audi S3 waiting in the wings, the A35 is a variant we think will hit the mark with Aussie buyers, especially those that want their performance hatch to wear a prestige badge.